Hi, welcome back again to Villa Molino Cookery Club. Today we're going to make a nice, traditional, what you might think is English, but it's not. It's originally Italian. You can call it trifle, but we call it zuppa inglese. Now, zuppa inglese is similar to a trifle, but it doesn't have tinned fruit, doesn't have jelly, and it's more like a, a tiramisu actually because we layer the um, um, Savoyardi biscuits with pastry cream instead of the mascarpone cream so it's kind of similar to tiramisu so we've got uh, our ingredients we're going to have the sponge fingers we have two layers one layer is going to be soaked in a spiced rum this is not for kids ladies and gentlemen one layer is going to be soaked in a strawberry liqueur now originally this was done with Alkermes. Alkermes is a, is a fruity liqueur, very difficult to find. Uh, so we're going to use spiced rum, strawberry liqueur. This is very easy, uh, available on Amazon. It's called Fragoli. Fragoli. Right, and then we've got some other ingredients. We've got some candied fruit pieces. I get all this stuff from Waitrose. We've got some nice dark chocolate uh, drops. We've got some nice strawberries. Uh, for garnish, uh, some Cadbury's flake, yes, Cadbury's flake for garnish if you want. And I found this in the cupboard little silver balls. Look at that, beautiful balls here, and we like the balls. Right, oh, oh, right, so first of all, we've got to make the custard, the creme patissiere. It's not custard, it's thick, it's made with flour. We've got a creme patissiere, and we've got to chill it. So I'm going to make this quick, and then we're going to come back when it's chilled and build the zuppa inglese. Right, so eggs, sugar, here we go. By the way, the, um, the Pims I made before was amazing. There's still some left here. Check out my Pims recipe. Pims Royale with Prosecco. Right, sugar, eggs. We want to get a nice aeration here. And flour, G gently work in the flour into the sugar and the eggs. Yes, it's all possible. I'll give you the recipe. Work in the flour, work in the flour. Right, yes. Sugar, flour, eggs. Crema pasticera. Here we have the milk on the boil with the vanilla. Look at that, nice white. Here we go. Work it, work it, work it. You see how it's getting paler? because the, the reaction with the sugar and the egg yolk. I'm not yolking. Right, so boil, bring this to the boil. Yes, keep on the milk. Keep working the eggs, keep working the eggs. Yes, ah, it's coming, it's coming. Yes, sugar, just the milk, just a little bit at a time. Little bit at a time, work it in. A little bit at a time. Work it in. A little bit at a time. You see, it's coming. Work it in, work it in. Then you want to put all that back on the stove and you want to cook out the flour. You want to cook out the flour. Here's my cloth. Work in the milk. Work in the milk. This is crema pasticera. Back. Here we go. Back in the pot. Back in the pot, ladies and gentlemen. Get it all out. Right. I'm going to try and do this. Put it on full speed. Right. That's got to come thick. It's got to come nice and thick. That's what you want. Right, I don't know if I can do this, oh, if I can do this while we're watching, or oh, we might have to cut away. Because you don't want to rush it, you don't want to rush it. You don't want to rush it. Let's see, let's see. Then we put it back in the bowl and we put it in the, in the fridge. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we put it in the fridge. It's got to get thick. It's got to get thick, ladies and gentlemen. 
Here's a spoon, here's a whisk. Whisk meet the spoon. Here we go, look, look, I can feel it. You can feel it in the spoon. It's coming, it's coming thick, look, look, look. You know that because it starts to get thick when the bubbles disappear. Yes, this is a good sign. Look, look at that, look. It's coming. Yes. Take it off the heat. Put it back on. Oh, take it off the heat. You see, look. It's coming, look. Oh, yes. Did you see how quick that was? Right. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Crema pasticera. Right, you want to taste it because you want to make sure it doesn't have that flowery taste. Put it down, put it down. Thank you, Mr. Wolf. Beautiful Wolf induction. Here we go, right. Don't go over, don't go over, ladies and gentlemen. Take a test. Take a test. Oh, the flower's gone. The flower's gone. It's not that it hasn't got that grainy texture. Look at that, look at that, yes. Now, put it in there. What we do, clean feel. I'll show you a trick, I'll show you a trick. Right, that's it, done, ladies and gentlemen. Did you see how that pastry cream, how quick that was? Right, put it in. Just put it in, put it in, put it in, put it in. Right, look at this. Beautiful pastry cream. Beautiful. Beautiful pastry cream. No lumps, nothing. Did you see that? No lumps. Nice clean pan. Look at that. Right, now you wanna chill this down, put it in the fridge, come back in two hours. And then we're gonna build the Zuppa Inglese. Now what you wanna do, you don't want to skin on the custard, so you take your clean film, you put it over, and you press it down, so it's touching the custard. So it's like a skin on top of a skin. Look at that, you press the clean film down onto the custard. It's touching the custard, ladies and gentlemen. All right, that's it, you see? I don't... Fantastic. Right, so that's the custard. Then we're gonna make some, we're gonna let this chill, we're gonna make some whipped cream, we're gonna build, the layers with the Sobiadi biscuits, one layer with the strawberry liqueur, one layer with the spice rum. This is not for kids, don't give it to your kids. This is Zuppa Inglese, it's not a trifle, there's no jelly in it, there's no tinned fruit in it. This is for adults and you're gonna love it. Back in a minute. All right, so we're now back at the montage, the montage of the Zuppa Inglese, which is um, similar to an English trifle, but it's not an English trifle. It's more of a tiramisu than a trifle. So what have we got? We got Savoyardi biscuits. We got um, candied chopped candied peel. We have uh, some uh, chocolate. Uh, what are they called? Chocolate drops. All available from Waitrose. We've got the the, the crema pasticera which is the pastry cream. It's nice and orange because we use really good quality eggs. Burford brown from Waitrose. We got some whipped cream here just to do the top. I'm just gonna give it another go just to firm it up a little bit. We got some Cadbury's Flake. Yes, I found two, two Cadbury's Flake in my fridge. I thought I had three, but there's only two. One must have gone walkabout. So we've got the Saviardi biscuits. Now we've got to make the dipping, the dipping liqueur. So a dipping liqueur, we're gonna do two layers, one with rum and one with strawberry liqueur. So, I'll give you all the measurements uh, in, the, in the text. So we're gonna go ahead and do the rum. We wanna dilute this 50-50 rum and water. So let's see, we're gonna do... I'm just gonna do 100 rum and 100 water. And that's we're gonna dip the biscuits. Gonna dip the biscuits. Now the, um, the rum is a bit sharp, so we're just gonna add a little bit of sugar. I'll give you all the measurements. We're gonna add a little bit of sugar to the rum. Right, so that's the dipping for one layer. Dipping for the other layer, got this lovely strawberry, um, wild strawberry liqueur, uh, available at, uh, Amazon actually, yes. Uh, Fragoli, wild strawberry liqueur. Now I'm gonna put here about 100 grams. This actually is a very beautiful liqueur because it does contain the wild strawberries. Look, it does contain the wild strawberries. So after you dip the Savoyardi in there, you can sprinkle the wild strawberries onto the tiramisu. 
Oh no, onto the zuppa inglese. Right, so now we need the water. 50-50 liqueur water. That's it. So, we have the two dipping, dipping uh, liqueurs. The rum with the water, a little bit of sugar. Perfect. We've got some nice strawberries for guarnizione. So, let's go, let's go ladies and gentlemen. What do we want? We want a little bit of, um, a little bit of uh, pastry at the bottom. A little bit, just squish it, squish it down. Here we go, so a little bit of pastry at the bottom. Pastry cream, right. That's just so that everything sits nicely. I had a smaller, I had a smaller one. Yeah, this will do. Right, so now you're gonna choose the first one, the first layer, I think I'm gonna choose the rum. So we're gonna take the, the Savoyardi biscuits like that. Take two, put in between your fingers. Dip it in the, in the rum. Right, here we go. And just layer it like that. Dip it in the rum. Not too wet, not too dry. I like to layer the, the, the sponge fingers with the sugar side down, sugar side down. Do it all the same. Right, so this is layer one. If you're making tiramisu, you'd be dipping this in the coffee. Layer one. Then ideally what you want to do is you want to leave this one day. You want to, yes ladies and gentlemen, you want to leave this one day because all the flavors will come together and that will be yummy, yummy. Right, zuppa inglese, right. A few more. Right, break the biscuit, fill in all the gaps. Fill in all the gaps. Right, cut the biscuit in half if you need to. Get it all in. The one there. Fill in all the gaps. Right, a little one, another biscuit there, half a biscuit. That's nearly the right amount of uh, liquid. Right, a little biscuit there. Right, so that's the rum soaked biscuits. Right, that's that, we don't need any more rum. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs. Right, now, we want to put about half of this on the top, right? About half of this, right? That's about right. Now we want to splush it. You want to spread it to cover. Spread it to cover. That's it, all covered. All covered. A bit more. Right. Spread it to cover. Right. I use this one, it's easier. Right, spread it all out. Make sure everything's covered, biscuits covered. Like that. Are you watching? Right, so that's layer number one. Right, hmm, right, there we go, right. Now, we, we start, we're now we wanna decorate. What do we want in here? We're gonna, we're gonna soak these in the strawberry liqueur, so, what we can do, we'll start to put the ingredients. We've got the candied orange peel. Candied orange peel, that's nice in the zuppa inglese. Candied orange and lemon peel. Right. What else have we got? We've got the chocolate nibs. The chocolate nibs. Look at that. So are you watching? Just sprinkle it as you wish. Candied orange peel, chocolate nibs. And you know what I'm gonna get? I'm gonna scoop out the, uh, the wild strawberries from here. I'm gonna scoop out the wild strawberries. Yes, come with me. Look, the wild strawberries from the wild strawberry liqueur. And I'm gonna put them on. So you got candied orange peel, wild strawberries, and chocolate butter, or chocolate nuggets. Right now, we put that away. Now we want to soak the biscuits. Soak the biscuits in the um, wild strawberry liqueur, 50-50 water. Did you get that? Now if you put your biscuits underneath going that way, put the ones on top going that way. That way it all holds together. 
Right, strawberry liqueur, look at that. Wild strawberry liqueur. Oh, I can smell it. This is not for kids, ladies and gentlemen. This is proper zuppa inglese. A lot of the top Italian restaurants sell this. It's not for kids. It's proper, proper Italian adult dessert. This is what they call food porn, I believe. I believe, so I've been told. Right, so, nearly there, nearly there. Soak up, soak up. I'll give you all the measurements, all the weights and measurements. Bit more, bit more liqueur. Bit more water. Bit more, here we go, easy to do, easy to do if you run out, you see? Right, last few. Soak it up, soak it up. Soak it up. Right, fill the gaps now, fill the gaps. Yes, baby, fill the gaps. Right, now, you can put the other wild strawberries if you want on top. Right, now we've got to use the rest of that custard. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the rest of that custard. Let's get all of it out. Then we got to chill it because we put the cream on top, so we want that to set. So we've got the cream on top, so we want this to set, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, you need to chill it. I'm afraid so. Right, so we've covered that. Now, if you want, as you wish, you can put mm, some more chocolate sprinkles. Some more chocolate sprinkles. Some more candied fruit. Some more candied fruit. Then on top of here, we're gonna do a layer of whipped cream. Okay, which is here, right? I'm gonna put that back in the fridge because this needs to set. Otherwise, you're gonna have trouble mm, putting the cream on, it's all gonna mix up. So, that's gonna go in the fridge. I'm gonna take it out, just an hour or so, and then we're gonna do whipped cream, and we're gonna do decoration. Back in a minute. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we're on the last bit of the Zuppa Inglese. We've done the layers, we've done the layers of Savoyardi, we've done the pastry cream, the creme, the creme patissier. We've done the uh, layers of uh, sponge fingers. Now we've got the top layer, which is going to be, this is set nice, so when we put the cream, it's not going to go all mushy with the, um, with the creme patissier. So basically what we're going to do now is we want to feed that cream on the top. Feed that cream on the top and gently, gently spread it. Oh, what have I done? I've made a mess already. I've made a mess already, look. Oh. Gently spread it over the over the uh, zuppa inglese. Now this is not a trifle, ladies and gentlemen. This is no jelly, no canned fruit. This is um, zuppa inglese, which is very similar to a tiramisu, but without the coffee. Right, so now we're gonna just feed that in, feed that in into the corners, get a nice flat surface. If it's too much, we can take some away. Can take some away if it's too much. If it's not enough, we can add it on. Feed it into the corners. Don't work it too much. You don't want to agitate the pastry cream underneath. You don't want to agitate pastry cream underneath. Yes, I said it twice. Right, feed it in, feed it in. Feed it in, look at that. Right, as flat as possible using your palette knife. Right, 
Right, then you just get a bit of tissue, clean the outside. Right, so here's your Zupra Inglese. Now, we just want to do some garnish. You can do whatever you want. You can go back to your, your chocolate nibs. You can go back to your chocolate nibs. You can go back to your uh, candied fruit. You can go back to your can candied fruit on the top, just so you know what's inside. Back to your candied fruit. Then you can go to your, oh, yuck. I found these in my, in my store cupboard. These are little silver balls, they're amazing, look. They look like little metal ball bearings, but they're not. So candy, fruit, chocolate nibs. You see, we're getting there, we're getting there. You can even put some silver balls. Give it a little sparkle. Little posh, posh uh, zuppa inglese. Give it a sparkle. I'm gonna put some strawberries on the outside. Look at that. Ha, ha, ha. Right. So look at these beautiful strawberries. Beautiful strawberries. Right. Let's see. We can do some decoration. Right. We'll do this as quick as possible. Quick as possible. I know you're waiting. You're waiting to see the final result. Small knife. Look at that strawberry. Look at that. Mmm. 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 Amazing. From the farm shop. From the farm shop near me. Look at that. Here's Picasso. Here's Picasso. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. You've seen it here. Villa Molino. Coming to a TV near you. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, few more, few more. Ladies and gentlemen, Zuppa Inglese. Italian style trifle with strawberry liqueur, soaked uh, salviati biscuits, dark rum, pastry cream, whipped cream, and sprinkles. Oh, chocolate flake. Let's put the chocolate flake. What are we gonna do with the chocolate flake? We're gonna, let's just cut it. Let's just cut it. Chocolate flake. Just for decoration, just put it on the top. Break it little bits. Look at that, chocolate flake on the top. Ha ha, amazing. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, Zuppa Inglese, I give you, ladies and gentlemen, fantastic. See you next time, Mwah. ciao.